I remember you. I remember the first time I heard you rap. I seen you rap was on Say Cheese like years ago, probably. Like, it had the to Queens be like, of Dallas thing. Yeah, that shit had to be like five years ago. Yeah. So are you old or was you young then? Ah. My birthday is today. I turned twenty five, so I'm like. It's I'm your not birthday sweet. today. Yeah. Just I'm like birthday. super young. Like, Man, what you I'm doing not for your super birthday? old. Nothing. I'm working, grinding all day. Yeah, so we're like. You know, like the traditional type of female rap, like you do, like you know, like the bars and stuff like that. Like. I'm gonna be real. I don't really listen to female rappers because they don't listen to shit that's relatable. Like y'all rap about lip gloss and shit that y'all not really doing, or mm -hmm. shooting niggas that y'all not really shooting. So um, I listen to a lot of niggas. I'm not gonna lie. Like I love Cardi, love Nicki all the way, but eh. so I'm you, I'm into females that really write their own shit and rap like niggas. So you so you like um. More like a Lauryn Hill, Rap City. I don't know if you know these people. But Are you saying is that what I like, or is that how like, I would describe my yeah, music? Yeah, like more of a real, realistic. Type I would. Of. I couldn't compare my shit to nobody, really. Especially not Lauryn Hill. I wouldn't dare do no shit like that. But I, do I fuck with Lauryn Hill? Definitely. She can really rap. So, like, what fe what what male rapper would you compare? Like, I mean, you probably don't sound exactly like them, but like, yeah, like a subject matter. Like, are you talking about the trap? Are you talking about? I mean, it's so much things. My with content is so versatile. It's like I even got pop music. I it's think like, that's I think that's super horrible for artists. With pop music? I think being so versatile when you first come out, um, it's so dope to say, say that some people can't box you in, and you can do a lot of different stuff. But I feel like if I'm if I'm a new if I'm a new um, a fan, mm -hmm. and I'm not a, personally a fan of you personally, and I'm just a fan of the music, that style of music might have brought me in. And then your next you want to hear all that. And then your next song, you might drop, and it might pull me away. Like, oh, I didn't really like that. I didn't like that far. I mean. Yeah, I'm still at the stage of, like, finding myself, though. Like, you know, finding my sound. So, I kind of feel like I have to be versatile. To I mean, it just you could, you could do it in a studio, but what you choose to release, like I was telling you about, like, Instagram matters and social media matters. Because, like I said, I can't post. If I post my kids... I mean, I'm going to get likes and stuff like that. People going to throw it. Or well, if I post a selfie, niggas not going to like it. Because the majority of niggas like me because of my, the business that I'm in. Uh, but it's just you got to know your following and stuff like that. So I think that's a big, big thing. So. I think right now, like, my, I have a ratchet-ass following. I think they really, like, on board with whatever I do. Like, if you want to do that, cool. We're we going to go with that. What's the last visual you dropped? Oh, man. I dropped. I deleted all that shit. But I, like, did, like, videos every month almost every month this year but i felt see because i don't know it'd be confused and people be like be consistent but i'm like oh it's more than that because nigga i dropped a music video every month that i wasn't satisfied it's the it's consistent quality it's not being consistent as in Just quantity work. it's um it's the quality of things and if you could consistently put out quality it looks easy like people are like damn that shit easy you feel what i'm saying like oh damn they doing it it's so easy and it's hard for me to do I think that's what when people say that like curators and stuff like me, like be consistent, just be consistent. It's not like drop a song every day. That's bullshit. It's like, are you doing it every day? Are you putting the the twelve hours in to make it a great song every day, rather than just putting out some bullshit every day? I mean, they like the music. Like, I mean, I feel like it was quality music. That was the problem. It was more so like you still have to have structure. Like, you have yeah. to be able to like lead your audience. Like how you were saying, you can't drop a song like this and then drop some shit way over here and confuse your audience so i think that sometimes i be trying to be so consistent that sometimes i confuse them like i think what are we doing here like what if, I if, you, if, if you look at some of the greats as in let's say nas biggie pop kanye Lil Wayne, a lot of their albums it moves on with it like you could tell like what part of life they was with that album so if you look at like a carter one mm -hmm. or carter two and he did carter three or you got college dropout, graduation, late registrations, or however he did it. It's like it's a it's a maturation of things. Now, if you just if you just look at the artists that fail, it's the artists that just putting out whatever. You have to mature yeah, with your artists. Them. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that, that's something that's definitely that's right. trial and error though. Yeah. You gotta fuck up. Don't be hated. I'm, so you just I'm getting it together. So you, you, you still pretty uh, I'm old, bro. But uh, but when you've been doing this since you was 11, you like damn, you could have been the pop. I mean. So, yeah. but it'd be like, at the same time, God not going to give you that if you're not ready. So, have you had managers? Have you ran through managers? Or like oh, my God. I done had, like, two managers, like, trial and 
you know, like, child, let me see what you can do type shit. Like, every time it's not a situation where you can outwork me, where you have more plugs than me. And I don't feel like it should be that way. Because then at the end of the day, shit is moving and all these opportunities come and you like, damn, I want my part of the money. And it's like, damn, bitch, you ain't do shit. Yeah, I mean, everybody has a different manager. They they, they value a different manager in different ways. Some, some people don't know the business. Some people can't talk. Some people don't have a connection. Some people don't have the money. It just depends on what you need that manager for or whatnot. So if you had a situation to where you were supposed to sign like to like cash money or like or like Rick Ross or something, like who would you sign to? I would sign a QC. QC? Okay, so you just not fucking with either one of them. <laughs> you the QC. I would sign a QC or Jay-Z. Why those people though? Um, QC, they don't have like a lead female like that. They definitely do. Who? I mean, I think they signed this girl named Rennie. She's from South Carolina. Um, I know. I, I like Rennie, but I don't feel like that's their lead, you know. <coughs> like, they don't have, like, a Nicki Minaj, bitch. I, mean, I think they got Cardi B. She is a man on the manager contract, not on their label. Oh, okay. She's on Atlantic. Okay, so. So, know. I just want to be somewhere where I'm a first priority. Because you can be talented and a motherfucker still will, like, sign you and sit on your bus. Yeah. Purposely. Why Jay Z don't? I mean, you don't think that Rihanna is like a big factor? You don't yeah, feel like... but she's not a rapper and she wouldn't be threatened by me. You think so? I don't think so. I think she's confident enough by herself. I mean, I think she's a part of her career, but you know, it's so. I think it's only a certain amount of female fans. How can I say that? Like fans that like females. So I think that'll kind of take away. Like, it's so hard, in my opinion, for, yeah, for, for females. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But no, I would still risk it. Like if you came out with the yellow hair, but Rihanna did it like a week before you, we, we, we can't like both. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard. See, it's but why both. do people feel like that? Like you can't, I mean, like, how, it's like Cardi and Nicki. Like they feel like you can't like both, choose a side. That's what I'm saying. But they don't do that to niggas. And that's what I'm saying. What, what niggas is like, you can say, you can ask 10 different niggas, who do you like? And you get 10 different answers. You feel what I'm saying? And one nigga, you like, oh, we like, I like Gunner. Oh, I like Kanye. Oh, I like J. Cole. Or oh, I like, you'll never get the same three. But if you ask the women who's your favorite female artist, it's going to be Nicki, Cardi, Remy Ma. It's, it's, that's not how the game work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so do you feel like that's, that's the reason why you haven't made it with the skills? Or do you just feel like it's you? Nah, it's definitely me. And the people I surround myself with when I get popping. That yeah. be my biggest downfall because I have a big heart. And in business, that doesn't go well. Because you need people around you. Everybody has to work. Yeah. So sometimes it's like, oh, I know you probably can, uh, you know, but I'm going to just take everybody. I used to be like that. That's what fucked up my career a lot is. I want to take everybody with me, but you got to put yourself through the door first. So if you, if you was to get on or whatever, would it be like that, that, that dream feature? Like that one Drake. feature? Drake. Damn, that's big, Drake. And he loves, like, finding new artists and, like, building them up. Like, he love that shit. I don't know why. But I've been studying that nigga, and he does. I, I don't think I don't think he's built any artists. Not as far, like, built them from scratch, but, like, Drake is the that, JB cosign. J or, like, he does see, little Dr shit like exactly. that. Exactly. Drake is a genius. If you hop on the wave super early, you'll never say that you, you dick riding. Yeah, he'll hop on your wave super early. That's what I mean. And that shit help a lot if Drake say, oh, I like your song. Just him saying, I like I your think, song. I think I, I was seeing a uh, meme the other day, and it was like, damn, back in the day when you got on BET or whatever, that mean you was on. But well, how did, what does it mean? Because there's no BET, you know, what means you was on? And I was told somebody, if you get a Drake feature, that means you on. Drake features matter. A Drake feature. You get a feature from Make anybody a difference. else. Yeah, a that's going to raise feature. your show prices overnight. Like, like for sure. And he going to want to hop on your song. So have you ever decided... Or thought about just moving out of Dallas and catching it that way? Thanks. I never really thought about it until recently because, I mean, like, when I went viral, like, what was that, last year, two years ago? Like, off the jump, like, the next day I had, like, a 5K show in Toronto. Mm -hmm. But it was like, I didn't have my team together and all that shit. So, I missed, I, I've had a lot of opportunities to work with a lot of celebrities, be on people's albums, um, a lot of crazy ass shit. But I just, like, recently got to the point where it was like, bro, just do it. It was a lot of back and forth, like one day type shit. Do you feel like the Do you feel like the the stripper rapper females take the game up? Cause I, one of my what you mean take the game up? I mean, it's more of an image thing with the female rappers, and I don't mean to dwell on this. Like, you get your little ass shots, you get your titties done. You gotta look at people like Cardi. I mean, like Cardi B, like Nicki Minaj, like like um, it's cause sex sells. 
Mm-hmm. So you're more prone to buy a female's album if she has ass and titties. Whereas but you, if but you look at people just, like like uh, Young Young May that can rap circles around people and she don't get the respect she do. And she can still write songs. She's still relevant. You know what I'm saying? But I know the fact that she's gay. But I think that you don't think that that's a main part of it. Because it's only sex. I mean, you could be It ugly. is. It's a huge part of it. You could be a super ugly ass nigga and, and rap. Because money make niggas fine. Facts. Bitches, you can have a lot of money and the niggas still gonna be like, I mean, she ugly, but you know, I'll fuck for the money or whatever. Yeah. It's not the same. So, yeah, image has a lot to do. Like, I feel like you gotta be sexy. I feel like a lot of girls, like, either you fine and you can't really rap, so niggas, like, write some shit and be like, here, we finna get this money, or, like, you just all around fucked up. Like, yeah. you ugly and can't rap, and, you know, like, you gotta be fine. I feel like you gotta be fine. You gotta be able to really speak. To be respected, and you gotta write your own shit to be respected. So, do you feel like if you was a rapper, what, what would you be doing? I would be like a housewife with a million kids. That's just what you got no kids now. I got one. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm straight, you know. Right now, oh, good. <coughs> so you just be you find your baller ass nigga and just chill. Nah, like if I wasn't a rapper, I wouldn't really be on it. I'm just into that now because who wants to? Not don't take it the wrong way, but I don't want to be on the red carpet with a regular nigga. Like he got to do something in my mm-hmm. lane, you know. Okay. So that's the only reason. So I'm you would date a rapper? I only date rappers, or you got to be in the same field as me. So it's an understanding, because if you're not in it, it's gonna be like, ooh, fans you, and all that shit. A nigga not gonna be able to deal. I recently seen you at a. I think I seen you at a show. How do you feel about like the? You feel like the the local showcases help out help you out the game fans and followers, or you feel like that's a waste. It depends on where you're in your career. Like, for me, I don't really have to do that. I I actually didn't have to do the open mic stage because of my social media. Yeah. But um, the same night I had that show, I got two other shows booked off of that. So it was like, does it help? Yeah, sure. Um, It depends on what type of artist you are. If I go on stage and it's a room full of people, I have charisma. So you're going to pay attention to me. So if you feel like that's something where... mm, this song might not go hard. They might or might not fuck with it. You probably don't want to do that. It's just gonna piss you off. So, so you know, if you was to have a threesome <laughs> with, with with two with two ladies in the game, who would Cardi it be? and Nicki. Cardi and Nicki. Okay. It's like the perfect like bougie bitch, and then this hood bitch over here. Like it's just. It'll so be who's great. the bougie? And who's the hood? I feel, like I feel like nah. I feel like Nicki is more so bougie than hood. Like Cardi is like bitch. I'll beat your ass, and I don't give a fuck. Nikki's more like, mm, I'm from the hood, bitch. I got millions of dollars. I'm I, mean, not I think, at the, I think at the beginning she was cool. Yeah, I yeah. love the old Nikki. I mean, I love the new Nikki too, ass shots and all. But you know, I fuck with the old Nikki as far as music wise. But definitely with the ass shots and shit, I fuck with the new Nikki. I fuck with fake asses and all that shit, fake titties. You fuck with fake asses. I do. Like as long as it's not like lopsided or like you know, no sh- weird shit going on. I don't think there's nothing wrong with fake asses. Because I don't like bitches with no ass. So you, you still be rapping off the dome when you got some bars for us? You give us? No. <laughs> you don't rap no more? You don't rap like that no more? Nah, I mean, I don't even write. I just press record. But no, I'm not finna freestyle. I wasn't ready. <laughs> See? That's what I'm saying. I think, I, think, um, I, think, I think freestyle is a lost art. Kinda, I said that. Because when I started rapping, I started off freestyling. It took me a while to teach myself how to write. So, once I started writing a lot, then it was like, eh, you kind of lost on freestyling. But also in the game, it's not demanded like that anymore. But I was also like, I got to get back on that shit. Because you don't want to go to Tim Westwood or some shit. And he, like, drop something. And you like, um, I got this verse I wrote the other day. And I can spit that for what, you. What do you. What do you think is bigger? Uh, I see you just real, you real musically inclined. Like, do you feel like the Breakfast Club was bigger or back in the day, 106 and Park? What's bigger, getting on Breakfast Club? two different times. I mean, right now, that's when I went on Six and Park right now. So. so what's bigger? Like, what would you rather be on? You was, you were still rapping when you said you was rapping since you were I'd rather rapping. be on Breakfast Club. Than 106 and Park? Yeah. yeah Man, cool. I mean, unless it was when, uh, what was the bitch with the fat ass? Uh, Free Fred. and AJ. That that point in time, sure. But everything after that with Bow Wow and shit, I know I'll pass. <laughs> Going to fucking 106 in Park. And Shad Moss is hosting. So, so, what's next for you? Like, what's like something that you got coming up next? Structure, like, flying, networking. That's something I never did in my career. And I was still 
the head. But then when you got bitches actually learning the business and you like, oh shit, I really gotta do it right this time. And that's where I'm at. Like, 